back to my channel. Today I've got a little box from Jules and Curses. If you didn't see my box from last month, please feel free to scroll down my videos and you will find the first box I have from them. It's um, a one-off box each month, so you don't have to subscribe. Different themes each month. It's kind of like witchy and pagan, um, gothic, occult, that sort of thing. So if you're into all that, then you will love, love this box. Okay, and um, the box cost, I think it's around um, around 29.99, but I will look later. I'm pretty sure that's the right price. I don't have my phone on me up here. Um, also, while I'm making this video, we do keep getting um, power cuts here. So if you are a bit screaming um, from the kids, then that means we've had another one. Okay, so you get like um, a satchel full of um, weird and wonderful items in this box and this is my second one but last month I was that impressed by the first one that I had to get another one. Oh, Miss Teddy, I think Teddy wants to say hello. Is anyone dead? Hello. <laughs> okay, just get comfy. Right, so this is the plain box and then inside not something really amazing. Possibly like incense, I think. So, okay. We've got a, another box here. We've got this, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got the satchel, which is white this time. Some incense and what the box is about. And of course, it's a star wrap because it's spring. The spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere falls on Friday, March 20th this year, marking the time when the sun passes over the celestial equator. Wiccans and other neo-pagans observed the day of the star, a festival that celebrates the changing season from dark winter to brightening spring. Ostara, i.e. Ostara, is Anglo-Saxon goddess who represents dawn. As a spring goddess, she oversees the budding plants and burgeoning fertility of the earth. Excuse me. <coughs> and this the first item what I'll show you is a print. We got a print last month too. I think it was all this tarot print, and this one's like the um Astara Breath print. So it's pretty cool with um, as you can see there, this that's like the triple moon symbol. Oh, and the goddess representing the um new season. Okay, and um, we've also got some incense. This is Ned Champa, which is one of my, happens to be one of my favourite scents. I can't really describe it, but it's making the whole box smell lovely. Um, if you like your incense, you'll know that it's quite a strong but pleasant scent. So that's it. Okay. Um, right. This is a spell kit. It says, spell for a star, you will need candle, a star of herbs, a 19 guy on a shelf. It's quite a heavy kit too. So inside we've got some Ostara anointing oil. It's kind of got a citrus scent to it. It says it's a blend of light and uplifting spring essential oils, including, yeah, I was right, cedarwood, grapefruit, orange. Chamomile, Yang Lang, a perfect for a star off the table. And it's quite a big bottle of oil too, not one of the tiny ones that you find in a lot of um, other spell kits. Oh wow. This is the gemstone, I think. It's quite a big one. I will look at the like, product list later, but I mean, that's just fab. I mean, look at that. Can you just the light going through it? Like an egg kind of shape. That is amazing. And it's got like quite a bit of weight to it as well. It's lovely. I like that. Get back in the pocket. I'll put it in. Okay, um, the bath is in here. Okay, so we've got some herbs. I imagine it'll tell me on the um, print out what herbs they are. And then there's that cool design on the top. Pretty cool. Smell. Oh, there's some mint in there, I think. And yeah, so that's 
put the thing in the envelope. Okay, so we've got the satchel and we've got this. Um, so I'll open this first. Checking on my battery because it's quite low. We're fine at the moment. Okay. Oh, 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 This is what like makes boxes so good. I mean, look at this. That is, that is amazing. I wasn't expecting something like that. It is, um, it's obviously you can hang it up. Uh, maybe just like place it on the side, like a kind of ornamental plate that way. But that is just, that's gorgeous. I love that. Okay. Put that there so over there safely. Okay, what have we got in here? That's what we've got in here. Ooh. Lemongrass spring wax melts. We've got some last month too. Mm. Uh, wax melts and they're really lovely. I think I've still got one left. So, have these. Ooh, they are strong. That's okay. So, as far in total, I need this like in the shape of like leaves, like spring leaves. And they smell very lemony, very strong. Kind of reminds me of a, um, a clean, like, the smell of a clean home. So, I guess, again, spring, spring clean. Um, and they do, I really love my melts. Right, so, if you see in kind of like my birthday or Christmas unboxing videos, you'll see that a lot of people um, buy melts. So, this is the Marigold Aloe. Homemade salt. Give you a of aloe vera. And again, very pretty. Kind of looks like a um, forest inside it. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a pattern inside. It's like kind of little branches and things inside that. Mm -hmm. Lovely scent to that as well. Not really come across anything like marigold scent before, but that is, yeah, it's quite pleasant, like more mild, but like a certain scent that I just can't describe. Okay, so, ooh, may this lucky hair bring growth, abundance, and new beginnings and fortune. Ooh, oh. Great start. Ah, there it is. Oh wow, that's got to be um. Like a obsidian, I think it's like an obsidian hair. I might be wrong though. That's gorgeous. So like the face of it. That is lovely. And that's on the little bag too. Bunny. Two more items in here. Oh, so we have got the Moon Gazing Care Ceramic Mug. Now, I'm not going to pull out the box just yet. Um, as you can see there, that's the pattern. Again, kind of like keeping the same thing, the hair. Um, the kind of pagan design there and the green so that's um yep that's pretty cool too and I think I've got one more item in here oh wow it's a big candle can't really smell much of it yep but it's quite a big candle so I think that's everything. So we have the candle, the cup, here. soap, the wax melts, the um, incense, all 
also got the oil. And then we got the supper box here. We got the gorgeous egg. We got the spell kit, spell herb, the little design there. I got the spring print, the little gorgeous little hair, and of course, the first one for me was this gorgeous plate plaque. And we also get this, which tells you what's in the box ideas for your altar, ways to celebrate a star and symbols, colours of a star. Printed this, which looks like the kind of like old fashioned paper, doesn't it? And then on the back, it tells you everything in the box, but of course, I like surprises, so I kind of just like to pull it all out. Um, selenite egg, moon gazing care charm in a bag it doesn't tell you whether it's obsidian but i'm assuming it is triple moon plaque is a terracotta plate with copper finish the mug and um, green bone china mug with a hair surrounded by stars representing growth and good fortune tapered candle um for spell the spell herb jar with marigold lavender hibiscus mint and chamomile with the company spell the star anointing oil, handmade wax melt leaves, handmade soap, drawstring bag, digital print. And the value of my whole box bag was £45.10. So, as I say, I think it's around 30 quid I paid. I'm saving £15, just over. And I will put the website below. Um, but that is Cures and Curses UK. You can also find them on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So that is everything in my box this month. And yes, of course, I'll be buying in the next month too. As I said, it's not a rolling subscription. You do have to buy them every month. But they tell you the theme in advance. I think next month is... I imagine it's something cleansing. I think it's something to do with Easter, but I'm not... 100% sure on that so please have a look at the website and their social media pages and once again thank you for watching my videos if you like them please give me a like bye <laughs>